This is CNET, and here are the stories that matter right now. Security firm Kaspersky Labs found ransomware known as WannaCry had spread all over the world using an exploit in Windows. WannaCry infected several medical institutions, including the National Health Service in the UK. In all, more than 70,000 computers were affected. A researcher from Proofpoint and another person who tweets under the handle at MalwareTechBlog noticed a hard-coded kill switch in the malware. WannaCry reaches out to a domain name. If that domain name is live, WannaCry would stop. So, at MalwareTechBlog purchased the domain name for around $10, ending WannaCry for now. According to CNBC, Spotify may hit the New York Stock Exchange either by late 2017 or early 2018. Instead of an IPO, this would be a direct listing. That means Spotify would not be setting an initial price for shares and would not be offering shares to investors before going public. Its stock would be available on the open market only. And finally, Amazon's new Alexa calling feature has a bit of a privacy flaw. There is no way to block individual people from your contact list from calling you. Amazon just recently introduced Alexa calling and messaging when it introduced the Echo Show. The one workaround is to disable the calling feature completely. Amazon is working on a software update which will include the ability to block individual callers. Stay up to date with the latest by downloading the CNET Tech Today app available for iOS and Android.